Christine, until tonight, Vince Ritchie has remained anonymous, but since his case remains cold, he tells me now's the time to come forward. If I don't speak up, nothing's going to happen. November 4th, 7.30 on a Saturday night, the moment Vince Ritchie was prepared for but never expected. Born and raised in the Bronx, New York, and I came here for a better life. And I never would have thought that this ever was going to happen in a million years. Ritchie was ambushed at his front door by an armed suspect, one of two who jumped his gate. Ritchie's surveillance video capturing the shootout that followed. Ritchie firing several rounds from his concealed carry weapon, both suspects firing back. First thing I thought, I feared for my family and I feared for my daughter. Ritchie, his wife, and five-month-old baby who were home at the time were not physically hurt. LAPD tells Fox 11, so far, no arrests and no updates on the investigation. Meanwhile, Ritchie says his L.A. neighborhood is being terrorized. All my neighbors band together to support me, but they support me in a way of telling me how they've also been robbed and make me feel like I'm part of this club. This isn't normal. What's worse, Richie says he has been targeted before. Three months ago, my house was robbed. They took every piece of valuable thing we had in the home. And, I and no arrests were made then? There was no arrest made. But Richie isn't necessarily blaming the police. I support the police department. I think they're not getting the support that they need. Vince, you are Santa Claus in the flesh. If Richie looks familiar, it may be because he's the same guy, even wearing the same New York Yankees hat, who joined us at 6 o'clock last December to promote his annual toy drive in L.A.'s Boyle Heights. Richie is the founder of Trina's Kids, a nonprofit named after his late mother that gives back to underprivileged communities. Will this experience dampen your gift? Giving spirit, Vince. No, there's no fear in my heart, and there's no fear that any criminal can put in my heart that will stop me from giving back. People need to stand up, defend themselves, and also give back. Now, as you heard him say there, Richie says he moved to California to give his family a better life. He says he won't leave California out of fear, but tells me he's also not going to force his wife and family to stay here if they just don't feel safe.